Welcome back. Now, Israel is all set to launch an Earth observation satellite EOS-8 into orbit on board its newly developed small satellite launch vehicle from India's Sri Harikota. Now, this is ISRO's third launch mission of the year 2024. While ISRO's PSLV and GSLV rockets take 30 to 45 days to assemble, the SSLV, believe it or not, can be assembled in less than a span of a week. So as the name suggests, SSLV is meant to launch small satellites, those that weigh less than 500 kilograms into orbit around the Earth. Now, ISRO designed and developed the small satellite launch vehicle rocket to enable rapid and low-cost launches of satellites built by Indian government and also those of clients, unlike other ISRO rockets. Now, SSLV is predominantly powered by solid fuel, which makes it very easy to build, store and launch at short notice. Now, the small satellite launch vehicle and its first test flight in August 2022. However, that mission failed and ISRO learned a crucial lesson from the failure and sprung back with a success during the second SSLV launch in February 2023. In the latest mission, SSLV will be flying the ISRO-built Earth observation satellite EOS-8, which weighs about 175 kilograms. And Vyond's principal correspondent Siddharth MP tells us more. The Indian Space Agency ISRO is all set for the launch of EOS-08, an Earth imaging satellite, which will be launched on the SSLV D3 rocket, a 120-ton rocket. The countdown for this mission is expected to begin at 2.47 a.m., which is we hours Friday India time. This will be a six and a half hour countdown going up till 9.17 a.m. on Friday India time. So at the end of that countdown, the SSLV D3 rocket, a 120-ton rocket carrying a 175-kg satellite EOS-08, will be blasting off from the first launch pad of Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. This will be a mission that will last close to 15 minutes. So this rocket will be lofting the satellite into an orbit 475 kilometers above the Earth. EOS-08 is built by ISRO. It carries three payloads, one for imaging the Earth, one for studying Earth's um, you know, uh, topography and geology, including the ocean cover, ice caps and uh, land mass and so on. And of course, finally, there's an ultraviolet dosimeter meant to study the ultraviolet radiation that happens in space. So this will be crucial for India's Gaganyaan manned astronaut mission. Let's also keep in mind that this is the third and final developmental flight of the SSLV rocket. So once three developmental flights are completed for a rocket, thereafter it can undertake more number of missions and also ferry customer satellites to space. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, we on World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.